House Veterans Affairs Committee, I do stand today in strongest possible support of the Senate amendment uh, to H.R. 674, which includes the provision of the bipartisan and bicameral Vow to Hire Heroes Act 2011. This bill contains many provisions of H.R. 2433, the Veterans Opportunity to Work Act, or the Vow Act, which was introduced in July and passed the House by an overwhelming majority just last month. The VOW Act honors the 1%, the 1% of Americans who as veterans have signed a blank check in the amount of up to and including their lives and payable to the other 99% of Americans. In return for that investment, too many of them, veterans of every working age generation are finding themselves unemployed or seriously underemployed due to the current economic downturn. Unfortunately, today's economy has eliminated millions of jobs, which many will unfortunately never return. Regardless of the reason, nearly one million veterans need help in acquiring the skills needed for today's job market. And that is what the Vow to Hire's Hero Act will do in a very comprehensive and cost-effective manner. There are millions of jobs going unfilled right now because employers can't find workers with the right skills. I'm proud that a major provision of the Vow to Hire Heroes Act will give nearly 100,000 veterans a chance to gain the new skills that are in demand for today's jobs. And these jobs are not just in high-tech fields. Many are in the trades. Many are in fields that cannot be moved overseas, like transportation. And this bill helps provide the training needed to complete and compete for these types of jobs without adding new programs. In fact, the two major provisions of this bill essentially recycle two existing well-regarded education and training programs, the Montgomery GI Bill and the Vocational Rehabilitation and Employment Program. That will make use of existing staff and current regulations. As I said, this act takes a comprehensive approach. For those just leaving the service, this bill would vastly improve the Transition Assistance Program, or TAP, as it's known, by adding personal skills assessment and improved skills crosswalks into civilian occupations. The bill would also begin the process of working with the states to help standardize occupational licensing and credentialing, a major bottleneck that often wastes millions of dollars spent on our military training. For the disabled veterans who have completed VA's voc rehab and employment program and who have exhausted their unemployment benefits, the bill would offer up to an additional year of vocational rehabilitation. Madam Speaker, I want to thank the chair of the Senate Committee on Veterans Affairs, Senator Patty Murray, uh, for her insight in including the vocational rehabilitation benefits as part of the compromise bill. I have two final points. The first is this bill is paid for, both mandatory and discretionary. We have worked with the veteran services organizations in order to find the pay-for provisions, and they understand the urgency to help veterans become employed, and I thank them for their support of this legislation. And secondly, Madam Speaker, I'd like to thank Chairman Camp. I know his plate is full right now, and I thank him most sincerely for helping bring this to the floor. And with that, I yield back.